Welcome to the Michigan Travel Show, a kaleidoscope of stories about the people, places, and events that shape our great state. Uh, this is a... Well, here's a little map of uh, the uh, Chesapeake Bay area. This is a highly historic spot. Lots of uh, stuff happened here during the Civil War. And uh, the, right here, Fort Monroe, this is the largest stone fort, uh, largest stone fort built in, in the U.S. 1819 to 1834. Used definitely for the Civil War. And there is all of the huge harbor out here that goes out into Ironclads, the Merrimack, and the U.C. and the Virginia uh, fought here in 1862. The USS Monitor and the CSS Virginia State, the USS Monitor, the Ironclads, in March of 1860, battle lasted without any clear victory for either vessel. So, yep, that's what it says there in need. And uh, Canaria, site of Confederate batteries until successful Union Army and Navy campaign 18. Ironclad CSS destroyed here by the crew. Now restricted area by controlled U.S. Navy.
Well, walking along the uh, wall here, this is where all the cannons used to be. They're all gone now, but this is where the cannons would be. Pretty cool. And there's the housing inside of the fort. Here's what it looks like facing away from the uh, ocean area. It's a grassy berm up here. And you can see it's just a built up wall all the way around here. And there's, of course, all the residents' houses here. I'll find out when they were built, but this is pretty cool. And I believe here are some old headstones. They've buried people up here uh, in the 30s, the 50s. Uh, yeah, people were buried up on top of this berm up here. Very interesting. Okay, well, there's the road I came in on right there. And there's a stoplight. It's a one-lane tunnel to come into the fort. So I came in right here. And here is the moat filled with water all the way around the fort. That's pretty impressive. And, of course, as you can tell, the walls here. It's like I said, built in 1819. And then the berm up here. All the way around. Some trees there. There it all is. All along here is a cemetery. People just walk around it. Kind of interesting. Okay, inside here they have uh, some storage here, but you can see it was all stone. This is a stone, not even a brick. This is a stone fortress. And uh, like I said, they used stone all the way around it. With a moat. All complete all the way around the and then the historic lighthouse right there that was there in 8, 1802 okay the historic lighthouse there and it looks like uh, some park uh, maintenance people are doing some work on the lawn looks like they're getting ready to do a little something there okay this is the old lighthouse built in 1802 still standing all these years later, it is still an a in use uh, lighthouse. It remains an active navigational aid to property of the U.S. Coast Guard. During the War of 1812, the tower was used as a lookout by a British for for British invasion force while they attacked wa by a British invasion force while they attacked Washington. Okay, well, Fort Monroe National Monument. Here's one of the official signs of the park um you got the fort and then they have a long beach area break wall that uh is part of the park here we're along the ocean here and uh along the uh pathway here the break wall or the sea wall and we're down here probably three four miles this is all still part of the park they had some uh depots and uh, some gun barracks they used years ago all off limits but they've made this far end of the park an rv park it kind of ends right along there somehow i see the break wall goes the sea wall keeps going the, the army owned all of this and then there's a another a town and pier down that way i'm not sure what it is but uh we're right along the ocean here and a little bit of beach here but this is the sea wall and they built this all the way along here in a beach there so we're down here by about three four miles part of the park but uh yeah it's great they've uh, turned this um turned this whole area that was owned by the u.s army and the fort into a national monument part of the national park service into uh a public uh, park that people can come and enjoy since they're no longer using the fort for uh, military purposes.